everybody, welcome back. Let's play Hearts Final 4, Kaiser gets Canada. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we're very close. By that, I mean maybe about... I mean, it's very close, like 10 months. Until the second Wildkrieg begins. And things are right now, we're in a bit of, you know, a lot of chaos at the moment. You know, Russia is going to be getting involved down here against Romania and Bulgaria. They might get the, um... Ukrainians into their faction as well, which might actually bring Russia and Germany at war with each other. I guess it's like a weird situation for sure. Monarchy's been restored to Greece. Actually, Dindy seems like they're actually doing pretty, pretty well against these rebelling forces. See how they kind of hold out in the long run. Surrender limit plus 16%, so I'm assuming they don't surrender. Yeah, 4%. Basically, you need to take every single city from them, so that can definitely sound like it can be a hassle. Now, the Empire is going to be quite, quite powerful very soon. And the Hellenic Social Republic might actually win. Ireland showed the Reich's Pact. How many men do you have, Greece? 5 to 15. You have 4 to 12. If I send you some tanks... How many men can I actually send to Greece? Uh, you must be at peace to send volunteer forces. That is perfectly reasonable. I always forget that I'm actually uh, technically at war. You guys have moved troops down in this region. Yeah, it's 3 to 11, 16. Like, you outnumber them already. I'm not too sure what the problem here is. You really think that, uh, you would be doing better. Where's their current capital? It's right here, where I don't believe they have anybody actually hanging out. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, anyways. We can actually... What, what's the Great Depression affecting us again? Was it just a... Instruction speed, output, and factory goods. You know what? Let's get rid of the Great Depression for sure. Probably should have done that a while ago. You know, better late than never, I say. So if you can just please kill these small little pox of troops. Like, I wish I could just ask them, like, hey, can I just have control of your entire armed forces so I can fight the war on your behalf? Because clearly... You're having some problems doing it. But I don't think they're going to uh, acquiesce my request. So, keep on suppressing the Quebec Wall. We're almost done with this mass, mass oppression. I don't know when I'm able to invest myself again, because I don't want to give the investment to anybody else. I mean, the French Republic, at least they're an actually like, powerful country, giving of uh, support to one of the tiny nobodies really doesn't seem like it benefits me in any meaningful way. And submarine hall. What else can we do? Basic snorkel. Drastically reduces villability. You know what? That seems okay. Let's get that going. Can enemy guys be upgraded? The answer is yes. Tank speed. Max planning. It's just you can be upgraded then. So, I mean, fast planning. I do just kind of like recovery rate. Do that one now. When is a year going to be over? Maybe I have like a modifier. Well, the advisors expire on the 27th next year. So I don't think it's that one. Has the IEDC. No, I don't think there's anything specific that I'm not seeing. But the economic plan of the Tories is looking pretty solid, I would say. Again, all we really care about in um, complaints over labor camp conditions, we're probably not going to shut down the camps. So... The unemployed men working in these camps say they cannot earn enough money to return to their former lives and get regular jobs. Um, 
Well, the labor camps. What is the penalty there? It's construction speed? You know what? That's kind of garbage. We're fine. We'll get rid of the camps. 10% like construction speed is not worth taking any penalty over. Are we even constructing that much right now? No, we're actually just repairing stuff, so we actually should be... Because this stuff repairs automatically, so we don't want to be wasting our time doing that. Do not build any factories in, in Quebec. They don't deserve factories. Build factories everywhere else, except for Quebec. They, uh, they deserve it slightly more. Greece looks like they... I mean, I'm hoping... Again, we're hoping that the Kingdom of Greece wins. For the obvious reason that they can join the Entente. That might get us actually a war with Russia, I think. Potentially. I don't know if Russia is sending troops to Serbia or not. We really can't get too much information out of this. I'm just interested. Like, you have clearly have done the thing where you can start... I think you did take Realpolitik. But I believe you have started getting people into your faction. I don't know... Well, it, it depends, because is it... Is it the, it's not a nationalist. Or is it the nationalist? One of these guys, one of these three, brings you closer towards Russia. I just don't remember exactly who it is. They said 225, so you know what? We will give one point of investment into Australia. It will save us some points as well. Economic recovery is almost done. Building slots. Kind of horrible. Polymer is going to give you some oil. One synthetic refinery. I guess that's not too bad. Develop oil in the Yukon. Prairie oil prospects. All these things are looking pretty, pretty nice. This whole tree, really. Yeah, we need all of these to get uh, the final levels of upgrades. Which is a bit disappointing. Lithuania, Ukraine. Really, things are not going well for Germany, I would say. Because now Lithuania is leaving the Reich's Pact. Germany is almost all alone. Flanders did not join with, up with Germany. Definitely not going to join up with the International. Okay, you declare war on Lithuania. Not a huge surprise. Why would you declare war on Lithuania and not declare war on White Ruthenia? I don't know. Research speed. Not a bad idea. Light medium tanks, also not a bad idea. That breakthrough plus 10%. You know what? The, the tank strategies have been going pretty well. In every campaign I've been using them in, so... Let's go back and get those tanks. You know, you'd be done 21 days. Word! What's our tank sitting at? Yeah, we can get the medium tanks, like, right now. So, but probably no ahead of time penalty. If there is, it's going to be, like, 4%. Like, nothing too substantial. We're really going to win this war. I mean, they have to be. They've already pushed their way to Sofia. Like, they're already... They are winning here. Like, you also should be winning your war in Indonesia. The problem is, of course, is that you gotta take every single city from, uh, every single city from them, which is a tall ask. It's, it's asking a lot from these people. But Iran will fall soon, probably as soon as they take Tehran. You've won the war. And now that we've won the war... Don't trade with Germany, for obvious reasons. We don't, have a, we don't have a land border with them. Just trade with the United States. And we need to be at peace for something, didn't we? Oh yeah, to send volunteers to Greece. How many men can we send? We can send one division. Okay, so we're going to send our tank. Do I have a tank admiral for you? A tank, <laughs> a tank commander. Attack against rivers is pretty good. Infantry leader is not really what we're looking for. Do we have a panzer expert? No, the answer is no. 
So we'll just take someone with the highest stats. Send you over to Greece. Russia just declared a war on Georgia. Okay, that's fine. Not too worried about that. Can bail out Iceland. For 100 political power. We only have 15. They declared a war on Central America. I'm sure at some point they probably could have joined up with our faction, but... I'm not going to go to war with the Internationale quite yet, especially not for, uh, for Central America. How much does Mexico have? 9 to 34? More than enough. And Quebec is no longer on fire. A beautiful day for us. So, we're only 11 days ahead of time, so we can definitely get our medium tanks. We're paying a 6% penalty. But that's okay. I mean, are our supplies up? If it could be done in 21 days. Are we trading new... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know our armor division is kind of garbage. Yeah, Ron has been annexed. The Ottoman Empire is going to be pretty, pretty uh, powerful for sure. Our, uh, thanks, uh, deployed. Lovely. Unfortunately, this is like all mountains. Which is not the greatest place that you could be. Do you know how much manpower you have? Zero. Okay, well that, that makes things pretty simple for us. I think this is the only place that's considered core, right? The rest of it is considered... Occupy lands. So see if we can kind of do a sneaky maneuver. Get behind these guys. I don't, like, I wouldn't be opposed to bailing out Iceland. I'm assuming that makes them just join our faction. Maxwell Knights. King Edward uh, VIII. We still got the tensions, but I don't think there's anything we can do to actually remove that penalty. Now that we've done that... What can we actually do with our, um... Develop coal, which apparently is also iron. Yes, 16 steel, please, and give me that oil. I don't have political power to do so, so never mind. Well, I guess we're not going to be bailing out Iceland, because we're going to be in developing our own uh, economy here. Definitely much more important than anything we can do with, uh, regarding Iceland. You considered capital. I mean, what do you need to get Greece down to to capitulate? 20%? Yeah, you're worth 1, you're worth 15. Why are you. You're in a mountain, okay. How many planes could I send to you? 103 planes. How many planes do these guys have? Uh, the answer is zero and an unknown amount. So you know what? We'll also send some air volunteers as well. Are you close air support? Your fighters. Should be able to get air superiority in this region. Again, I don't know how many. Big Greek planes there are. Reese, you really don't have a lot of men, do you? 5 to 14, 2 to 14. Like, I would like to send more men. But I do not believe I can. Like, your superiority right now is giving us a... I like a 
advantage here. Am I faster than them? I might be able to get uh, this to work. The answer, of course, is might. Some more infantry equipment for now. Of course, just can't be in a situation where I allow myself to get uh, surrounded. I don't want to lose a tank division for no good reason. Obviously. I mean, there's a chance that there's just going to be nobody in Thessalonica. Which might just make them capitulate immediately. It did not. Okay, well... The plan was okay in theory. Uh, it just didn't really work out the way I was intending it to go. A little bit more steel from the United States. At least again until this is done. I think we still have about four days until we can actually get more, uh, more political power. Because again, what's with the penalty? Anglo-French tensions. I don't think there's any way you can get rid of this. Especially after we have suppressed the Quebec Quad, they might not be the happiest with us. I think this is the only city that might actually matter. Okay, so the old cross act is done. Go for explore the north. Yeah, I definitely go for Alberta. They give me slightly more oil. Woodsworth has lost a CCF leadership vote. Uh, who led the Cooperative Commonwealth Federation since its founding in 1932. Has lost its leadership over the party, due in large part, it said, to increasingly unpopular opposition to the war against the syndicalist. Replaced by younger James Coldwell, who has promised to reinvigorate uh, the party and restore it to prominence. 5% more stability. We want to go here, so... Eh, okay, never mind. We don't want to go there. And I think this is the only city that might matter. I'm not too, too sure. In tungsten, we don't really need. Aluminum, chromium, we also don't need that much. It really is just a coal. Or iron ore. And Labrador. Getting us that steel. Really good for us. Can you go back and take... Wait, the Nationalists are bad, right? You do like us. Eight of the Civil War. Oh, did we? No, we didn't. I, th I think the tags are just confused. We definitely did not side with them. Okay, apparently the Greeks do not actually want to go to the one province that actually can make a difference. We'll try to at least cut this in half. Again, I think this might be the only city that actually makes any difference here. Uh, decisions available. When can I do it? Has it not been more than a year? Okay, so we're gonna marry a Greek princess. At least I think that's what the event said. Seems like a good uh, choice for us. Seeing as we are literally fighting with the Greek monarchy, you think they would have our. Uh, they'd be happy with this. Got 115 more days. Apparently, our royal visit to um, Australia didn't accomplish too much because I don't think we saw a single event based on it. Greece has sent some reinforcements in this region. How's this war going on? 
I mean, even if Serbia loses, there's still going to be a war with Russia. And Ukraine is just hanging out. So I'm not too sure what their plan is going to be in the long run. Our air support is still good here, right? It's all over. Yeah, all of southern Greece is fine. I mean, it's definitely northern Greece. We'll just ignore that for now. Oh, you actually get a nice connection here. But no, don't keep attacking this guy, please. Please keep attacking him. You know, okay, we're going to at least... Uh... I said expand their fission zone. We can offer them a deal. Bound to dry the iron of the Syndicalists in Britain, but we can only perhaps use this occasion to gain support in Iceland. Offer Iceland a deal. Iceland, I will support your fishing claims if you join the, the Entente, even though I'm pretty sure you're really more of a dead weight than anything else. That's fine. I'm okay with dead weights. We got Sardinia. They're more or less just a dead weight, aren't they? I believe so, at least. Um, what do we want to build? Let's build some more light tanks while we still have the chance. Just want to go to this city. I think that's going to be more or less a city that capitulates them. They're slightly capitulated. Not very much, though, so, but... 3% stability, monthly population goes up. 1% consumer good factory, I'm sure that is fine. We explore the north. We are going down superior firepower. A few times 100% research bonus infantry weapons is pretty decent. Actually, you know what? Let's get our way towards this special branch. And we'll contact the British Loyalist. I was really hoping that we'd be able to maybe take this city easily from them, but I don't think it's going to be happening. Why do we not? Strategic Bombers. Ignore that for now. Don't start consolidating power. You know what? Let's do that because I have no idea what's going to happen with it, but... But it's going to go down. We actually have decent stability right now. Which is nice. Are you considered a... No, you're considered Bulgarian territory. Surprisingly, Greece doesn't actually have any claims on it. Greece has claims here and claims here, but they don't have the middle. Which is a bit strange, but okay. Actually, gonna move. It's gonna take you a whole day to do so, but Barcelona has fallen. That is good for us. You'll be there in one day, eight hours. You'll be there in two days. Attack you. Okay, so now that ZNT is dead, I don't care who wins. I know the Carlos will join the Entente and the um. The Kingdom of Spain is like 50-50. Of course we'll uh, allow Greece to join the Entente. I just fought a war to make sure that they would uh, support us. The IEDC. Can I invest in myself again yet? I can. Beautiful. Invite Greece and then invest in myself. Invest in more military factories. And after that... Just more light tanks. And we've got snorkels, so everything's actually looking pretty solid, I would say. Speed of reveal chance goes up. Are you ahead of time? You are ahead of time. Not by too much. Yeah, we're giving on aggression back with the Americans. Should be. All right with them. 
You don't really like me too much, but that's because... Like, outraged. I don't really know what I did to get them outraged, but... You know, it is what it is. But I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks to everybody for watching my anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Now do I call you something down? Want to see more subscribe? And goodbye.